you ever bought shoes, you know, just simply because you needed them? The old ones, you know, they're still comfortable and you like them, but they couldn't serve, you know, the needs that you had while you were walking. You put them on uh, every so often and you're like, ah, I should get a new pair of shoes. Well, one day you decide to go get those new pair of shoes. And the first day you put them on, sometimes they just don't feel right. And you wear them for half the day. Maybe sometimes you even take them off, right? The next day you put them back on the new shoes and you start to realize that they do feel good, but not as good as the old ones. So then maybe the next day you do it again and you start to realize that these new shoes become a little bit more comfortable than they were the day before. So as this journey continues, you understand that there's a little discomfort, but you keep going and you keep walking and you keep moving. And what you realize by the end is that all of that discomfort, it slowly goes away. And this is a new journey, what we're going through. And sometimes there's fear because you don't know what's necessarily going on with the new training models, but you're looking for immediate validation, immediate satisfaction, and immediate support. And you're not always going to get that up front. Sometimes you got to just keep moving. You got to keep moving until these circumstances and the people around you mold and fit to where you're going. And that puts you in a better position to be a coach. My point is every coach in this club put on the new shoes, put them on, start working on your coaching self and move forward. So when we talk about in possession, when we have the ball, there are specific principles. These principles never change regardless of the system. And in their most basic form, these are what the in possession principles can be. Play from the back when possible. Have the knowledge of why to shift and press and how to play against various systems and understanding how to play against all pressing styles. Uh, play with width and depth. So when we talk about width and depth, if you look here at the nine, okay, and then your four and five, they're creating the depth. The width would be between the three and the two. What determines a team playing with uh, width or depth as their primary function, their team intention, is determined upon the type of players that you have. It's determined upon the opponent that you have. And it could change. It could change even during a game. It could change from game to game. But this is the ownership of the coach because you have to understand your players. You have to understand the opponents. You have to understand what type of formation that works well. These are all the components that going into uh, the type of formation that you would run, whether it's width versus depth or depth versus width. You have to be comfortable in receiving the ball in high pressure zones. So if I think about on Thursday nights down in Redbud, we're working on that specific high pressure zone receiving and then pushing the ball forward and then trying to make that outlet pass to the midfielders. What's really important, and especially with Coach Chad's group, what we're working on is trusting that your teammates are going to be in position. So if you think about playing out of pressure, you have to understand and trust that your teammates are in the right spot. The other last thing is we still have to dominate 1v1. If we dominate 1v1 positions and situations, we still hold true to that dribbling creativity mentality, but we dribble to find 
a pass. We dribble to connect to the next play. What we're trying to work with a lot of our players is getting out of the pattern of dribbling to just dribble. And we're trying to mold and shape these players. Again, we're asking them to put on new shoes. We're asking them to walk a new journey. We're asking these players to evolve and start to enhance their playing style. So when they have the ball, their intention is to try to dribble to find the pass. Mm -hmm.